Hey Casey, what we're going to do is examine your rear view uh, running gate footage and check to see how much instability you have in your hips and to try and correct that a little bit because if we know what's causing um, certain deviations of your running gait, we'll be able to prevent further injury. So what I'm going to do for, first of all is to draw a straight line in your midline here, right through and to check to see how much your legs are crossing midline. The reason why you want to do that is to, is to determine if your legs are, are crossing midline that you might be overpronating with your feet. What that means is that there's overpronation of your feet here and it's crossing midline. Let's look at the right leg. It doesn't cross midline all that much. Your left leg does. Your right leg does not. So um, you are getting more overpronation on your left, le uh, or you, you might be getting more overpronation on your left foot and ankle rather than your right foot and ankle. Now, why is that happening? Is because this hip might be coming in too close. Your left hip might be coming in too close and touching that knee as a result of weakness of your right gluteus medius, and um, this hip is thereby dropping, causing this leg and this knee to come in too close. Let's just get rid of all of that. What I want to do next is to quickly go through uh, your hip drop on this side. Now I'm going to make a quick measurement here. Looks like that's about 23 degrees, which is significant because you want anything le uh, 5 degrees or less in terms of a hip drop. I'm going to quickly go on the other side to measure that one as well. And as you can see, the knees touch over there as well. But let me just have a quick look at your hip drop here. That's one. That's two. Let me take that away. Let me draw that again. That's about 17 degrees. So it looks like your left hip drops more than your right hip. Now, the reason why that's happening, again, like I said, is that if I use my laser pointer, this hip drops more when you're not weight bearing on it. And as you can see, this foot even goes out a little bit further, and your tibia or your leg rotates outwards when you are not in weight bearing phase. Now, in terms of um, your overpronation of your foot, I can measure that angle really quickly, and I'm only going to do this side because I think that's the side that's causing more of your issues. If I draw that angle, it looks like it's going to be about 5 degrees or less. about six degrees so it's a little bit over pronating more than it should you should have five degrees or less of over pronation now the reason why we're doing all of this is to um, really uh, try to prevent uh, your legs from um, getting excessive forces and your thighs from getting excessive forces at the ITB air level because if this is going inwards. If your left thigh is going inwards too much, you're putting excessive stresses on the ITB here, um, and you're also putting excessive forces on the ankle. Now, if this is overpronating too much, what you're doing is you're excessively putting pressure on or tension on the Achilles tendon, which can lead to Achilles tendonitis. So what I would recommend is to focus on strengthening your gluteus medius, especially on the right side, to prevent this drop that occurs on your left thigh area. Um, also, if you examine the upper body, this elbow sticks out a little bit more than this one. And if you fast forward it a little bit, you can see that your right elbow comes up and twists into the back a little bit further than your right one. This one kind of stays straight. This one twists backwards. See what I mean? So um, you might want to try and focus on keeping these elbows straight and keeping your torso straight. I hope that helps, Casey, and um, good luck.